Sam Kay from Travis Smith. Thanks so much for talking to us. I know your fund formation practice covers the entire life cycle of private equity and you work across all fund sectors. Where have you been busiest in the last 12 months? Well, we have seen plenty of, of fundraising going on, uh, even during the lockdown. Um, I, I think that a, a fair amount of that was uh, for funds and GPs that, are, that had already started their, their process, already um, begun speaking to LPs. More broadly, rather than just the, the fundraising side, we've seen a, a large amount of, of focus and activity on things like uh, fund finance, uh, the liquidity options that may be needed for, uh, for funds and their, their portfolios, and also trying to actively manage uh, the, the underlying portfolio as well. Um, and which parts of the fundraising market do you think will have been irrevocably changed? It depends on, on whether what we are seeing right now is fundamentally changing the way we will uh, operate, uh, or the way GPs will operate when raising funds, or, or is the situation we have at the moment simply adapting to the, to the issues that everyone's facing, the lockdown issues, the, the restrictions on travel, the difficulty with building the um, the momentum for a, for a fundraise, how do you do that when you can't meet with people, you can't sit face to face with those people, with the, you know, the, the uh, investors and for the investors to meet the GPs. So how will LPs adjust in a year or two's time when they've realised that for the last two years they haven't needed to travel to do on-site DD? Uh, that may well fundamentally change the way fundraising processes work. And lastly, as the pandemic spread, I mean, you've alluded to it, there was a lot of talk of GPs needing to find liquidity, um, be it a private equity house looking for emergency funding for a portfolio company, or those looking to build up a bit of a war chest, a buffer for the future months. How have you worked with GPs to create innovative structures for liquidity solutions? During the lockdown, especially the first few months, um, there was a lot of focus and attention on emergency financing requirements or, or building up the war chest, as, as, as you say. There are some examples of uh, preferred equity solutions that uh, we have worked on. Uh, we are working on a number of NAV-based uh, financing ar ar arrangements at the moment. Um, also, a number of GPs have, have focused uh, a lot on uh, how they can squeeze the most out of their current uh, funds. So are there any recycling um, uh, arrangements they, they can implement to ensure they have enough capital within the fund to continue supporting their portfolio? I think now it's, it's moved on again. Um, and people are thinking more about opportunistic uh, restructurings or changes in their portfolio. Sam Kay from Travis Smith, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Denise.